Let's now get back to the breaking news we've been following from Sterling Heights, where a barricaded situation ended peacefully in this past hour. It's happening at a business on Mound Road between 16 and 17 mile roads. Let's get to Jason Colthorpe. He's live at the scene with how police brought this to an end. Jason. Karen, this all started around 1130 this morning when a Sterling Heights man walked into the business you see in the plaza behind me. That's Elwood Staffing. It's a it's a, a temp agency. The man walked in there, was acting strange, wasn't speaking. Employees tried to engage him, but they got fearful to the point they called police and everyone left the building safely. That's when police arrived. We want to show you some video from earlier that we shot. Now, Sterling Heights came out in full force, sending the SWAT team out, not knowing how dangerous this man was. At times, you could see him walking back and forth inside the building in front of the windows. And then eventually, after several hours, they'd set up communication. The man walks out and watch this. You can't tell if he's giving himself up or what, but police shoot him with a rubber bullet. And a second later, the man goes down. Here's what, and then they put him into custody uh, shortly after. Here's what Sterling Heights police had to say after it was all over. He was wearing some type of weighted vest underneath his clothing. For what reason, we have no idea. He is not responding to any of us. He's kind of just staring off into a distance, and that's why he's being uh, taken to the hospital to be evaluated. Now, though, as for the weighted vest, it, they don't believe it was military grade or a bulletproof vest of any kind. They thought it was some sort of workout vest. They don't know why he was wearing that. Uh, they believe uh, he was not armed, as it turned out. They weren't sure if he was going back to a vehicle that may have had something in it. But at this point, not armed. And they have no answers because this man, they think, has suffered some sort of mental breakdown and is just simply not talking to police. And they hope to get some answers now after he's been taken to the hospital. We're live in Sterling Heights today. Jason Coulter, Local 4.